Lament for the Death of Ignacio Sanchez Mejias by Federico Garcia Lorca. Goring and death at five in the afternoon. It was five sharp in the afternoon. A boy brought the white sheet at five in the afternoon. A basket of lime already set at five in the afternoon. The rest was death and only death at five in the afternoon. The wind swept away the cotton at five in the afternoon, and rust planted crystal and nickel at five in the afternoon. Now the struggle of leopard and dove at five in the afternoon, and so began the bass notes at five in the afternoon. The arsenic bells and the smoke at five in the afternoon. On the corners, groups of silence at five in the afternoon and the bull alone with heart on high at five in the afternoon, when the bull ring filled with iodine at five in the afternoon. Death laid eggs in the wound at five in the afternoon, at five in the afternoon, at five sharp in the afternoon. The bed is a coffin on wheels at five in the afternoon. Bones and flutes blow in his ear at five in the afternoon. The bull bellowed on his brow at five in the afternoon. The room iridescent with agony at five in the afternoon. Gangrene comes in the distance at five in the afternoon. Trumpets of lilies on green groins at five in the afternoon. The wounds burned like suns at five in the afternoon. And the rabble broke the windows at five in the afternoon. Oh, what a terrible five in the afternoon. It was five on all the clocks. It was five in the shadow of the afternoon. Spilled blood. I don't want to see it. Tell the moon to come. I don't want to see Ignacio's blood on the sand. I don't want to see it. The moon, fully open. A horse of quiet clouds and the gray bullring of sleep with willows over the barricades. I don't want to see it. My memory burns. Warn the jasmine to cover its whiteness. I don't want to see it. The cow of the old world stroked a snout of blood with its sorrowful tongue and the bulls of Guisando, almost death and almost stone, bellowed like two centuries tired of walking the land. No, I don't want to see it. Up the bleachers goes Ignacio with death on his shoulders. He looks for dawn. And it isn't dawn. He looks for his sensible profile, and sleep confuses him. He looks for his beautiful body and finds his open blood. Don't ask me to see it. I don't want to feel the spurt growing weaker by the moment, the spurt that illumines the seats and spills on the hide of the thirsty crowd who orders me to look. Don't make me see it. His eyes didn't close when he saw the horns approach. But the terrible mothers raised their heads, and all through the cattle ranches there was an air of secret orders thrown to celestial bulls by the foremen of pale mists. There wasn't a prince in Seville who could compare, no sword like his sword, no a heart so real. His strength was a river of lions, his prudence a torso of marble, an air of Andalusian Rome gilded his head, where his smile was a rose of salt and intelligence, the great fighter of bulls, the good mountaineer of the mountain, how soft with the wheat stalk, how hard with his spurs, how tender with the dew, how dazzling in the fair, how grand with the last banderillas of dusk, But now, he sleeps forever. Now the grass and the moss open with sure fingers the flower of his skull. And his blood comes singing, singing through marshes and prairies, sliding down shivering horns, wandering soulless in fog, stumbling on thousands of hoofs like a long, dark, sorrowful tongue to form a puddle of agony by the Guadalquivir of the stars. O white wall of Spain, O black bull of sorrow, O hard blood of Ignacio, O nightingale of his veins, no, 
I don't want to see it. There is no chalice to hold it. There are no swallows that drink it, no frost of light to cool it, no song or deluge of lilies, no crystal to bathe it in silver. No, I don't want to see it, the laid out body. The stone is a forehead where dreams moan. Without the curve of water or the frozen cypress, the stone is a shoulder weighed down by time with trees of tears and ribbons and planets. I have seen gray rains race toward the waves, raising their tender bullet-ridden arms, not to be hunted by the horizontal stone that tears out limbs without soaking up blood. Because the stone gathers semen and clouds, skeletons of larks and shadow wolves, yet gives no sound or crystal or fire, only bull rings and bull rings and other bull rings without walls. Ignacio the well-born already lies on the stone. It is over. What's the matter? Look at his figure. Death has covered him with a pale sulfur and given him the head of a dark minotaur. It is over. Rain enters his mouth. The mad wind leaves his sunken chest and love, soaked with tears of snow, suns itself on the hills of the cattle ranches. What is it they say? A stench-filled silence rests. We stand before a laid-out body that vanishes with a clear form that held the nightingales, and we see it fill with bottomless holes. Who wrinkles the shroud? It is not true what they say. No one is singing here or weeps in the corner or uses his spurs or frightens the snake. All I want here are wide open eyes to see that body that can never rest. Here I want to see men of powerful voices, the breakers of stallions, masters of rivers, the men whose skeletons rattle and sing mouthfuls of sun and flint. I want to see them here, before the stone, before this body with the broken reins. I want them to show me the way out for this captain tied to death. I want them to teach me to weep, like a river of sweet mists and deep shores, to carry the body of Ignacio, to free him from the double snorting of the bull, to lose him in the round bullring of the moon that feigns like a girl the sorrow of a quiet cow, to lose him in the night where no fish sing and in the white thicket of a frozen smoke. I don't want them to cover his face with handkerchiefs. Let him live with the death he bears. Go, Ignacio. Don't feel the hot bellowing. Sleep, fly, rest. The sea too dies. Absent soul. Neither bull nor fig tree knows you, not the horses or the ants of your house, not your mute memory because you have died forever. The stone's loin doesn't know you, or the black satin where you shatter. Your mute memory doesn't know you, because you have died forever. Autumn will come with its seashells, its misty grapes, its gathering of hills, but no one will want to look in your eyes, because you have died forever. Because you have died forever. Like all the dead of the earth, like all the dead who are forgotten, under a mound of darkened dogs. No one knows you, no. But I sing to you. I sing for the future, your profile and your grace, the ripe gleam of your wisdom, your appetite for death and the taste of its mouth, the sadness born in your valiant joy. It will take a long time, if at all, for an Andalus to be born so clear so rich with adventure. I sing his elegance with a whimper of words and remember a sad breeze among the olive trees. <laughs>